being inspired is a huge part of working on your improvisation. I love to put on a track. Maybe it's something I've been listening to. Maybe it's something that was really, really big for me, something that I loved. Maybe I loved the tone. I loved the way it was played, the energy, whatever it is. I love to do that and, and listen to it and then directly try and take that spirit and improv with it. So I'll put on a jam track or something and I'll say, okay, now I want to take that, uh, that Paul Kossoff from Free that I just listened to this track or insert whoever your favorite guitar players are and say, I just listened to this track and I want to take that energy, the essence, the spirit of what they were doing and I want to try and improv it and just try and get that out, right? It's a really, really, really big factor in playing music is improv. Um, it's like if we're going to have a conversation and I've never met you, can I not talk to you because we've never spoke before? Uh, do I have to say, hold on, let me come back to you because you send me what you're going to say and then I'll make something up. I'll, I'll, I'll respond, but I need to go home and work on it. And No, improv is the language, the, the, the talking in music. So, fresh versus memorization. Keeping it fresh, staying inspired, right? That is so important. Now, of course, you can have your licks that you play that are very, um, very near and dear to you, licks you love. That can be part of inspiration, of course, and that can be part of memorization. Using them in an improvisation spirit, that's what really, that's, that's the, what really matters. So here I am, and I could play this lick that I played a million times. <laughs> So I can be jamming, improving, the track's coming. And I go. Now that wasn't the exact way I played the lick before. Played the same notes, different feel. I was improving with it. I was moving everything around. I was just trying to feel it out. I was getting a different vibe with it. That's improv. So another thing about improv, do not be afraid of wrong notes wrong notes or notes that sound out. You are, after all, creating on the spot. It's like misspeaking. It's like, hey everyone, how are you? Uh, hey, uh, hi everyone, how are you doing? It's like, I misspoke twice there a little bit, right? Where it's like, well now you're gonna do this and that. And then you're like, oh, I, I said the wrong word. Don't be afraid of wrong notes. It's fine, it's part of learning, it's part of improv. And after all, when you play a wrong note, chances are, just saying this in general, you're the only one truly that was affected by that note. If I was playing, I went like this, and I went like. Oh, my bad. Did that ruin your day? Were you like, oh, I can't believe you did that. Oh man, this is so bad. It's like, no, it's okay. That's part of improving. If you play wrong notes, it comes with the territory. One of the biggest things I always say is like, if I do play a wrong note, it's like, okay, now my ear knows that sound and it's like, I'm gonna not try and go back there, right? It's like, if I'm in the moment, it's like, okay, if I'm going like a... Oh, I don't want that note, okay. Skip that, not playing that note. So. I truly believe there is no wrong notes. It's only notes that are played at a wrong time. So think about it like that. Be a little more carefree about it. Music's supposed to be fun. Improv is so fun, especially when you're learning, when you're digging in, because it's so fresh. So that's a little food for thought about improvisation. Now what I wanna do is I wanna take our track that we've been jamming over, and I'm just gonna improv. I'm literally gonna turn my mind off in the sense of memorization and I'm gonna turn my mind on in the creative spirit, taking the well of things that I know, and I'm going to improvise over the track for you. I hope you enjoy. Let's do it.
Improv. If you asked me to play it back, I couldn't because I was just in the moment. I was just vibing on what I was hearing and I was kind of reacting to it. My brain was shut off from saying, okay, I'm gonna play really good for these guys. I'm gonna play something that, that I've worked on a million times. I just was in the moment playing my guitar. Of course, I had this well of ideas and licks and phrases and techniques, but I didn't just go to them. I said, okay, I'm taking you with me, but let's see what I use. It's like, it's, it's, it's a freeing feeling. So work on improv because it's gonna be a part of your language with the guitar and music in general for the rest of your life. And on that note, send me a video of you improv let me see what you're doing. Let me see how you're feeling it. And I can always send you a video back. Maybe I can help you out or I can just dig what you're doing. And keep improv keep playing, keep jamming, keep pushing yourself because that is what it's all about, having fun and growing on the guitar. <laughs>